Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be painting a colorful friend. As you must have seen the thumbnail already, so you know it's an orangutan. Before we start, I want to give great thanks to all my supporters, friends and art lovers who made it past the mark of first 100 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so very much. And if you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and stay connected. So let's talk about the painting we are doing today. It's a colorful orangutan. I have sketched it already and the sketch don't look so good but trust me, we will make it better with colors. I have painted the background with yellow ochre, tiny bit of red and black. Adding black to the angry guy so that he should not get lost in colors. Actually there is so random use of colors that it is little difficult to explain what goes where. Remember one simple rule of colors harmony that is for such paintings never use complementary colors as it will make the painting grayish and we do not want that. I spoke about complementary colors in my recent video. What we should be using here is analogous colors. Analogous colors are a group of three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, sharing a common color, with one being the dominant color, which tends to be primary or secondary and a territory. Example is red, orange and red orange. I hope you get it. If you are into art, please study the color wheel. It's very easy and helps a lot to create better paintings. Coming back to the painting, I'm adding colors to it. I recommend using any type of large brush at this stage so that we could work fast. First layer is always my favorite because it is so careless and fast to work.
moving forward I'm slowly changing my brushes to smaller one this video is longer than my usual previous videos the reason being if you want to paint as it is you can follow the same colors although I suggest you to try different colors or different animals remember the color harmony rule that's how you need to choose color combination
making few fine lines below the eyes it will give a sense of depth in the face you should be very careful when painting the eyes because when it goes wrong it is very disturbing to correct them
using palette knife to fill the colors and the painting is done I'm pretty happy with the look of attitude on his face comment below what expression you see in his face and what you feel about this painting please hit the like button if you like the video thank you so much for joining me today have a great day bye, -bye.